started, okay, in regards to the quarterback situation, everybody practiced today, everybody threw, and Coach Stoop addressed it. Next. <laughs> How did they look? <laughs> good, it was a good practice, a lot of energy. Uh, you can really tell after the bye week, you know, and we gave the threes a lot of reps last week and had some young guys I felt like got better, and uh, there was just a lot of juice today, and that was great to see. How do you make sure they come out with juice Saturday? You know what, you gotta love this game. You know what I'm saying? You know, we gotta get back, and, and it's a cliche, but the fundamentals, the basics, you know, it's about it's about blocking, it's about doing your job, alignment, assignment, technique. It's all I've been talking about. The one thing that we can control is how we practice every day. Do you practice to get better? Is it with an attitude? You know, and, and you can't, if you're supposed to be three yards outside the hash, you have to be three yards outside the hash. You can't be two. And, and those are some of the mistakes that we've been making. If you're a running back and you're supposed to be at one yard, you got to be at one yard. And so those are the little things that we're really taking care of. And we can dictate that. And I thought today that we really paid attention to what we were doing. We treated it like a game. We sat on the sideline and our team was, was just like a game. So we're, we're really making sure that uh, we take care of those little things. Lynn and in getting into the quarterback room, how has he kind of communicated with you all what he's comfortable with? and. Uh, he's been great. Lynn, Lynn's a football player, you know. He's like I said, you know, when he came here and we put him in every single position. He knows every position, you know. So he's been really good. He's night and day. We were talking about it in our room just uh, yesterday. You know how you can control and coach talked about sowing and, and you know your, your seeds. And it's hard for a redshirt freshman because they don't see those seeds growing. And, uh, but with that young man, I have seen it. And uh, you know, through encouragement and through letting him know and getting the bye week and getting those reps, you can see it. And he's, he's like night and day. Number one, because he knows what to do. That is really helpful because he's playing faster. But some of his jump cuts and his speed and his acceleration through and breaks tackles, and uh, it's been really good to see. You know, uh, Big Nick, a tight end, Nignovic, uh, and, and I butchered that, but we just call him Big Nick. Uh, he's another one that stood out, you know? Another one that's coming along and you can see that he is starting to grasp the offense, you know? Uh, Eli Cox, you know, he looks he looks like he's night and day uh, compared to, to where he was. So it's really good for those young guys to get those reps. And you said after the South Carolina game, you need to get back and figure out what you can do and focus on that. Not, I know you're not gonna tell us what you can do, but how successful do you think you've been in identifying those things? I think we're quickly uh, getting that answer. Uh, and, and today confirmed some things. And uh, each day, we, each night, I mean, we've gone in there, and that's what we've talked about. You know, these are the things that we've got to take out, okay? I mean, this is what we're good at. Let's run this. And so we're, we're gaining on it. And, and we need to be right at the, the tipping point on Saturday. Captain, I know you coach. I know you coach and say you're on you know, like social media now. Really. However, that's going, a fact. Okay, going into an uh, off week as badly as they did South Carolina. Uh, how do you feel? Can you sense how the players have uh, uh, taken it two weeks? And all the noise they've heard, you know they have to have heard a lot of noise. Yeah, I and mean, I'm sure they have. And, and you know, as a coach, that's a difficult thing to to, to overcome with social media. You know. You can't look back in that rear view uh, mirror, you know, it's really small, you know, the, that, that front windshield is, is large and, uh, you know, you got to move forward and as a coach, you know, like I said, after the South Carolina game, it was the worst uh, I've ever been part of, you know, I, I didn't do a very good job and uh, so you, you can't look back, you got to look forward and what can you do to get better. Uh, it's been like that since the day of age, unfortunately, with social media, our kids have to listen to it. I don't. So, you know, I, I, I'm, I think if they love the game, then they'll be ready to go on Saturday night. And, you know, they're embarrassed, I was embarrassed, but it's time to move forward. The struggles on third down the last nine quarters. Had any revelations in the bye week or in the time just getting to kind of look at that more? And Protect, throw, catch, and do the fundamentals right. Us as coaches put them in better positions. You know, uh, it's a combination of everything. It's, it's absolutely every facet, and it starts right here. Chris Rodriguez pulled on in that last drive. You know, not only that last drive, just, you know, I think he 
he won one of our, our awards one week in terms of pride. We gave out a pride award. And, uh, you know, after those first two games, it was, it was humbling for him. And uh, he never wavered. And all he's done has gotten better every single week. I'm really excited about him. And, uh, he'll get in there. Uh, and, and what he brings is that physicality and that uh, move the pile. Uh, but I'm excited about him. He really pays attention to the details. I think so. I, know, I think so. Again, you know, when I went back to the third, the third down and short stuff, you know, AJ was three or four. You know, there's a lot of there were some issues there of, of everybody. But you got to you got to keep moving forward. You got to keep trying something. You know, you don't want to just sit there and say, okay, well, you can. You, know, you got to do it either schematically, or you got to do it personally. And so, that could be a possibility. How do you kind of establish a, a running game with without just force feeding it and trying to jam it down their throats if it isn't working right away? Patience. You know, you gotta have patience. You gotta, you gotta, you know, and I got a little bit impatient in that South Carolina game. We won game and got scuffed. Uh, and, uh, and they did a good job with it. But, you know, you go back and look at our first down stuff, you know, we weren't, we weren't hateful. So, uh, me being more patient, and, you know, you go back. I went back to the Florida game. I watched that one. I watched the first game, I watched the second game, I watched them all because, you know, I'm looking for answers. Uh, is it the scheme, you know, and uh, so we've talked about it as a group. Everybody knows what we got to do, and uh, I'm excited about uh, Saturday night. What stands out to you when you look at Arkansas's defense? You know, they've gotten better every week. That's the one thing. You look, you look at their first game as we've broken them down, and you watch each game, and you watch them. Uh, they've just they've gotten better each week. And, uh, you know, their front seven, really solid. So, you know, again, SEC. So it's an unforgiving league, and you got to go, and you got to play well. You got to, you got to strap it up. John Chave has been around for a long time. What, what are the characteristics of his defense? Players being at the right place at the right time. You know, uh, he's going to have them ready to go. They play hard. You know, and, and they don't play. They play mistake free for the most part. You know, so uh, he, he does a fantastic job. Been, like you said, he's been in this league for a long time. Recognizing that Arkansas defense, who are some guys on that defense that you feel like have stood out to you just from watching the film? Uh, number three, uh, number ten, number eight. I'm sorry, I don't know their names. <laughs> uh, the, 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 those those three for sure. Twenty one, their safety in, in the back end. Those guys are guys that really show up and uh, you know they can cause havoc for you. All right, folks.